hello guys this is jude and today's video is on buy coins buy coin is a cryptocurrency exchange that has brought innovation into the crypto space in africa it charges the lowest fee amongst all other cryptocurrency peer-to-peer -peer platform it is the only exchange that has adopted the naira token ngnc in today's video i'm going to walk you to the platform and show you how to buy bitcoin and sell bitcoin on buy coins so if you're ready let's get to it so to get started with buy coins you have to first visit the site and register there's a link in the description you can use to register mind you the link is an affiliate link which means when you use it to register we get little commission and that is how we run this channel for free so we appreciate if you use the link to register so once you've visited the buy coin website you click on get started Bitcoin used to be buy coins used to be called Bitcoin Africa, but they were branded to Bitcoin.Africa. So if you are if you've not registered, you put your email address here to create an account. If you already registered, you click on sign in. So here I'll enter my email address and password. Click on I'm not a robot, sign in. Once you're logged on, this is what you see. This is your dashboard. If you look at the top menu, you will see dashboard, buy, sell, trade, account, and settings. So the next thing you see is get started with buy. And of course, you have to verify your account. To verify your account, all you need to do is just to verify your phone number, put your BBN, and, this, and that is basically it. If you go down to the next session, you see buy and sell now this is where you buy and sell directly from buy coins all right you can sell and buy bitcoin sell and buy litecoin sell and buy ethereum if i scroll down further i will see trade bitcoin peer to peer this is where you can buy and sell bitcoin from and to other traders on buy coins if i scroll down further you see my account so you, you you see your wallet and the balances in your wallet so buy coins provide me with the naira token account that is ngnc then it provides me with the bitcoin wallet the ethereum wallet and the litecoin wallet now let's look at other items on the menu we've been looking at the dashboard so if i hover my if i bring my mouse over to buy and sell you can see i can buy and sell coin and my order this is basically things i've shown you already in the dashboard and if you go to trade you can see find trade ads this is where i enter the amount or the quantity of bitcoin i want to buy then i can and i'll and i'll be shown traders that have that quantity to sell to me then post your trade is if i want to create my own trade all right then my trades my trade ads are the trades I've already created, I can see them when I click on my trade ad. Then my trade activities, all the activities that have gone on in my account, I can keep track of it here. If you go to the next session, which is my account, send and receive coins is where I can go to to send and receive any of the supported cryptocurrency, that is the Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and NGNT. Then deposit and withdraw Naira. Okay, at this point, this is where I can deposit and withdraw Naira into my NGNT wallet. How Bitcoin work is that when you deposit Naira, it is automatically converted to NGNT, which is no no other platform does this. I can send this NGNT into an external wallet if I want to. So this is why I deposit is, and when I withdraw NGNT, I get the money straight into my bank account. It takes about they they said it takes um within an hour but when i did it i got paid within two minutes then my account is what we saw down there where you see all your coins and basically how much you have in them then my ngnt coin lock this is a new feature that allows you to earn interest on your ngnt now you can earn between eight percent to fourteen percent per annum depending on the amount of coin you're locking or and the period you're locking it for 
all right so mind you that when i lock a particular when i lock my naira that is my ngnt i cannot use it for that until the period i lock it for it's is um expired or is due then if we go to settings i can edit my profile referral program i can get my referral code verify my identity add bank accounts and cards and security settings so this is basically an overview of the bitcoin interface so we've gone through it the next thing we're going to do is to buy and sell bitcoin on bitcoin to buy or sell bitcoin at buy coins there are two major ways of doing this one is the instant buy and sell the other is post a trade now i use the instant buy and sell if i want to buy or sell bitcoin instantly i can either do this i can either buy and sell from buy coins or i can buy or sell to other traders then post a trade is if I want to buy Bitcoin at a lower price, that is the price lower than the current market price, or I want to buy at a price, I want to sell at a price higher than the market price. In post trade, I can now set my price so that when Bitcoin rises or falls to the price I set, my order will be executed. To buy Bitcoin using the instant buy sell method, this is a step. One, you deposit Naira into the NGNT wallet. Two, you buy Bitcoin with the Naira you deposited, either at the buy and sell now or trade Bitcoin peer to peer. The reverse is the case when you want to sell. You deposit, you send, you deposit Bitcoin into your Bitcoin wallet. Then you sell at the buy, sell now or at the trade Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer. mind you you can only trade bitcoin at the peer-to-peer -peer. you cannot trade litecoin and ethereum let us demonstrate this to make a deposit i go to my account and click on deposit and withdraw naira here there are two methods i can deposit by bank transfer or by card when i choose to deposit by card I'll be charged 1.5% 1, 1 up to a maximum of 2000 but if it is bank transfer, it is free. So I want to use bank transfer. To do that, I'll make a transfer to Providus Bank. Um, this is the account number. This account number is unique to my account. So in your own account, you have an account number you need to use. Once you deposit, what you see is this name, Bitcoin, the name. So I'll go right ahead and make a deposit. I have made a transfer for 5,000 Naira for 10,000 Naira. Let me go back to my wallet and refresh. My so it took about it took about one minute. I have the the money now in my engine wallet. And I was charged nothing. You can see I made a deposit of 10,000 Naira. And I have twelve thousand nine hundred fifty. That is in addition to the two thousand nine hundred fifty that I have already in my engine one. So the next thing we'll do is to go and buy Bitcoin. So this is the dashboard. I can buy Bitcoin from buy coins directly or from trader selling. Let's look at it. Let's compare the prices. Now I can buy Bitcoin here at three million five sixty nine. That is the rate why from a seller i can buy at a lower price so i think i prefer to buy from okay this is sell and click on buy um this seller is selling at three million seven eight one so this is higher and this price is lower so i'll go ahead and buy from buy from but the thing is that sometimes we don't have big time. Ooh, have big one so I can buy Bitcoin worth um, 10,000 there. So I'll enter 10,000 there here. This is equivalent. And this is the rate. Okay. 
what they're telling me that the prices are updated continuously. So I'll go ahead and enter the 10,000 Naira again. This is a new rate now. I click on review and I click on buy. Mind you, when you're buying, you don't you don't you don't pay any, any transaction charge. What you see is what you get. All that is spending. So just have to wait a little while for it to be completed. Yeah, so the order is completed. This took about under a minute. So and I have Bitcoin. If I go to my dashboard and scroll down to the bottom, you see, and I have um this amount of Naira and this amount of Bitcoin. This is probably because the prices keep changing. So the equivalent the equivalent I'll see here, the equivalent I'll see here, it depends on the current price of Bitcoin. So this is how you buy Bitcoin on buy coins you can send this bitcoin to an external wallet if you want to if i want to sell this bitcoin i'll just follow the reverse process to sell it okay now let's look at the other method of buying bitcoin on buy coins which i call post a trade to buy bitcoin you just post a trade you deposit naira just like depositing the first one then you create a buy trade after buy you create a buy trade ad right to sell you deposit bitcoin if you don't have bitcoin then you create a sell ad now i already have bitcoin 0 0.028 to use this method i will have to create a trade ad to sell it here i will set my own price so i go to trade go to post a trade ad there are two methods of posting a trade ad you have the static and the dynamic the static is you want to enter a price in naira and sell or buy at that price all right but the dynamic you want it to change depending on the price of bitcoin on this time so for the dynamic price the price of bitcoin on this time is 9,866 naira 95 kobo and my rate here is 365 naira Per USD. All right. So what is happening here is that this my rates multiply this. They give me my price. So if I want to change my rates, my rates in Naira now against Bitcoin, all I need to is all I need to do is to adjust my 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 rates against the USD. All right. So what happens is that if the price on this stamp changes in dollars. My rate here in Naira will also change. It's either rise or fall. So you can place using a static ad or the dynamic ad. They have both the advantages and disadvantages. So I want to place using the dynamic ad and I'm putting my rate at 362 and I want to sell Bitcoin because I have Bitcoin ready. So when you come down here, limit this is a limit. So I put the range that the minimum one is set. Mind you, I have 0 0.0028 Bitcoin. So the minimum one to sell is say 0 0.0008, and the maximum one to sell is maximum we can have is 0 0.028. Mind you, I can also I can equally put. But let me do that. I can equally put 0 0.28 here. So I want to sell all the Bitcoin I have. And so this is how I create my app. All right, then I can click on review ad and I click on post to sell ad. So if I go to my dashboard now and come down to here where it says buy bitcoin as you see my ad you can see jude wall i'm selling at 3 million my rate is 3 million 579 all right which is even lower than the rate here so 
this is how you place an ad so someone can just come here click on the ad and buy directly from me this is how you buy and sell bitcoin on buy coins i hope you enjoyed this video if you did click the subscription button we release awesome videos like this every other week you can actually confirm this by checking out our previous videos all right if you check the description i also left a link to the article i wrote about buy coins there you will see more details about buy coin the founder the product and services they offer their transaction fees and all that i promise you enjoy it if you have any question for me please leave it in the comment section if you want me to review any other um exchange please leave it for me in the comment section so see you in my next review. Cheers.